morning, McLaughlin. I'm Jonathan Fritz. And I'm Peyton Purvis, and this is your Panther News. Here's Mr. Davidson with a speech about Black History Month. Good morning, McLaughlin. February, as all of you know, is Black History Month. And I'd like to take a moment just to get you to think about all of the people in America uh, and all of the African Americans in America that have fought against social injustice in our country and all the work that they've done to bring us all together as one human race. Last night, I was at Hanford High School and I saw a poster hanging in their cafeteria. So I thought I'd take a picture of it and share it with you as we remember Black History Month. So as we finish out the month of February honoring Black History Month, please continue to be nice to people, do what's right, and be kind. Here's Mrs. Overturf with information about EYC. Good morning, McLaughlin. I'm Mrs. Overturf, and I just want to let all of our eighth graders know, do you like to make money? Do you want to make money this summer? Well, there's a great opportunity through Ecology Youth Corps Come see me or Mr. Haugen and we can give you guys all of the details. Basically, this is a four-week job during the summertime, this coming summer, and it's really glamorous. It's picking up garbage on the side of the road. You can't get much more glamorous than that, right? Um, there's a couple parts you need to do. You need to fill out something online, and I can give you the website for that. And then you need to think of two people that are adults, not your family, that would say good things about you. You need two references. Those are called references. So if you have any questions, you want to make some money this summer, you're going to be 14 by June. Come see Mrs. Overturf or Mr. Haugen. Here's Madeline with one of the 8th grade B team players. Hi, Madeline. Here with Leo from the girls' 8th grade girls basketball team. And where is the game? Ochoa Middle School. And who are you playing against? Ochoa. And what time is it? 5.30. Hi, Madeline. Here with Leanna Olympic from the girls' 8th team basketball. And who did you play against? Carmichael. And where did you play? At Mac. How did you do? Good. How did your team do? Good. What was the score? I think 44 to 4. Did you guys win? Here's Michael with a member of Girls Gold Basketball. I'm here with Maya and Alexia from Girls Gold Basketball. So who did you guys play? Carmichael. How did you guys do? We did good. We won by like 20. How did you do individually? Oh, I scored two back-to-back -back threes and Maya scored, uh, she did an Earl step and then an and one, so I was, it was spicy. <laughs> In sports tonight, the gold team travels to Desert Hills and takes on the Hawks. Panther Blue takes on crosstown rival Stevens here at Mac. Tip off for 7th grade at 4 p.m. Let's pack the gym, Panthers. Here's Michael with Calumet Kubalik, who won the short story contest. What was the title of your story? The Food of Love. How long did it take you? About two days. What was it about? Um, it was about a young musician. Hey, Mac Panthers. I am here with Calumet Kabalik. She was the winner of our Cavalcade Short Story Contest. Her story will now go on to compete with other middle school winners. Um, best of luck and congratulations. Thank you. This day in American history in 1732, George Washington was born in Virginia. In addition to being the commander of the Continental Army during the Revolution, Washington also presided over the Constitutional Convention and served as the first president of the United States. When people wanted to make a king after the Revolution, Washington turned them down. After serving two terms as president, Washington chose not to run the third time, even though it was clear he would have won. In local news, downtown Pasco is getting a revelization with the city planning to invest around $4 million, $40 million towards infrastructure like roads, sidewalks, and landscaping in the next few years. Keeper News reported a virtual reality simulator that demonstrated how dangerous it is to drive, to drive distracted. The simulator spent the day in Kennewick showing drivers how dangerous it is to be using your smartphones behind the wheel. Judge Dwayne Tabor, a retired Benton Franklin Superior Court judge, died of liver cancer on February 17th at his home in Pasco. 
He is remembered this week as a diligent attorney and patient judge. He was born and raised in Pasco, 1943 High, Pasco Hyde graduate and a veteran of World War II. He was 92 years old. Today's and yesterday's Panther birthdays are Aiden Grad, Dylan Grad, Hubov Gratov, Yasin Benitez, Alyssa Kilbury, Alexandra Nestorico, Caitlin Peterson, and Carissa Rodriguez. Have an amazing day, Panthers. This is Brandon from Buddy Club. And girls. So, Brandon, what do you do in Buddy Club? Um, I, I slide on the this, this day. What is your favorite thing about Buddy Club? Um, it's the lights and the game and the food snack and the, that is good. So, Brandon, when is Buddy Club? At at light and the sun, sun good and as a book and the library and. The, the boy and the the girl is sound sound good. M E I A I say you for Miss A Allen classroom. Have a spectacular day today, Panthers. See you later.